Hey everyone, it's Dean, one of the instructors here with Master Your Medics, and welcome back to 12 Days of Christmas with Master Your Medics. So, today, salbutamol, or as my fellow Americans call it, albuterol, versus atrovent. Uh, basically, both drugs are used in respiratory emergencies, namely asthma and COPD, the restrictive lung diseases. Uh, both decrease bronchial smooth muscle constriction, but they work in different ways. Here we have a normal bronchus, kind of here at the bottom. Uh, and then we have a neuron on top, and then a closer look at a smooth muscle cell, the big thing we care about today. In asthma and COPD, we get bronchospasm, and basically a bunch of reactions take place, and our bronchi gets really swollen and kind of mucked up with mucus. This process is mediated by a whole bunch of different factors, but the main jam, a bunch of calcium comes into the cell. And uh, there's a decrease in something called cyclic A and P, uh, both of which constrict the bronchial smooth muscle. And then this narrows the airway and makes it hard to breathe out, or air trapping, right? The main jam in both disorders. Our goal is to open those things up, right? We need to increase the airway size to increase the airflow. Uh, even little bits of opening can make a huge difference in these patients. We can do this in several different ways, but two mainstays of therapy are albuterol and atropine. Albuterol is a short-acting beta-2 adrenergic agonist. It binds to beta-2 receptors in the bronchial smooth muscle and leads to increase of cyclic AMP, which leads to smooth muscle relaxation and then an increased airflow. Epitropium, or atrovent, is a muscarinic antagonist, otherwise known as an anticholinergic. Uh, acetylcholine activity can be involved in the patho of both asthma and COPD, but mostly COPD, and basically it causes constriction as well. Atrovent binds to and blocks M3 acetylcholine receptors on the bronchial smooth muscle. This decreases the intracellular calcium concentrations and leads to bronchial relaxation. Uh, and then it can also help with mucus secretions as well, but that's kind of less understood. So, albuterol versus atrovent. Both of these are respiratory drugs, and they're inhaled. They have similar indications, respiratory emergencies, namely asthma and COPD. They both cause bronchodilation. And they're both really short acting. However, they work differently. Albuterol is a beta 2 adrenergic agonist. It triggers beta 2 receptors, causing an increase in cyclic A and P. Whereas atrovent is an anticholinergic. It triggers muscularinic receptors, leading to a decrease in intracellular calcium concentrations. It plays more of a role in COPD, but can be used for asthma too. So that's a quick difference between albuterol and atrovent. Both are helpful, but in different ways. Until next time, happy holidays. We love that you love our video, so much so that we've actually created some shock illustrated notes for you, and you can download these for free in a link on our bio.